Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Christine and I am an online reseller on eBay and Poshmark. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and it would really help me out if you'd like this video. If you do have a Poshmark account, please leave your handle below so I can follow you and share and just want this to be a community. So if you like haul videos, that is what I will be doing today. I went to the Goodwill yesterday and I brought Brielle, my 11 month old, so I didn't get to browse the whole store, but I did get to go through the dresses and the tops and the blazers. I just wanted to share them with you. Um, I do have a new Instagram account. It's called Thrifted Revivals. I'll leave all the information below, so if you wanted to follow me, I'll be doing my reselling journey on there. So let's get started with the haul. So anything with new with tags, I will pick up. It's usually an easy sell, especially on eBay. Um, things usually that are new sell faster. So I picked this Talbot's um, laser jacket up. It is a size 8 and it's new with tags. Retailed for $179. Just a nice staple. On this J. Crew Chambray Eyelet dress. And it's new with tags. It's a medium. It was $79 retail. This is just a cute dress. I really liked the print on this. It is a size 0 and it's from Ann Taylor and it's the black label Ann Taylor. And um, it's a size 0P which is not a great size. I try to stay away from size 0 but I couldn't resist the print so I did pick this up and it's, it feels like linen. Yeah, it's 52% linen, so I just thought that was really cute. I picked up this handbag, it's from Fossil, and it looks like it was barely even used, so I picked this up. I got this Ann Taylor top, it's a size 14. I like to have bigger sizes in my closet, so I really like the print on this and the ruffled neckline. Look good underneath a blazer. For work. This is a Bowden and it's it has like reindeer on it and it's green and pink. I thought that would be good for the fall. Long sleeves. It's a nice dress. This is a Banana Republic size 2 and I really liked the detail on it and I believe it's silk and it's just a navy color. I think it's from the same person that had that Ann Taylor floral dress. And like the Goodwill was um, refreshing the whole store. I was in there last week and the racks were bare and they were bringing out tons and tons of new racks and putting it out on the floor. So I think they were refreshing the whole entire store. So mainly I shopped on the racks that they were bringing out. And yeah, I found a lot of, this is where I found most of the stuff that I picked up today. This is an Ann Taylor cashmere, 100% cashmere sweater. Anything that's cashmere or 100% silk, I will pick it up. Doesn't matter the label, but this is a nice one because it's from Ann Taylor. This is a free people dress, and I believe it's the Bridget dress. I have the same exact dress in my closet right now. That's in like the burgundy colorway, so that'll be easy to list this one been picking up graphic tees recently. I found this one. It's Kuna Matata and it's black. And it's like a cropped shirt. It seems like it's cropped and it's just Disney. I've been picking up a lot of Disney today. Yesterday I sold a embroidered vintage Disney like button down shirt. It was really cool and I wasn't going to pick it up because it didn't like go with the theme of my closet but I really liked it so I picked it up and it sold in like three days. So anything that's Disney, especially embroidered and vintage, I highly recommend picking it up. There wasn't many listed on Poshmark, and I was getting a lot of offers, and I sold it for like $45. So I highly recommend picking up vintage Disney. This is a vintage Hawaiian shirt. I don't know if it's a men's shirt. I just, it was in the women's section, but I really thought it was cool. I don't even think, here's the label. I haven't done my research on it, but it seems like anything that's Hawaiian is hot right now. 
I found this vintage maxi dress and I loved the print on it. It's pockets, it's long. So I couldn't resist the print and it's in good condition. It zips down the back. So that this was a really good find. It's Alice and Olivia. I recently sold a set on Poshmark for over a hundred dollars. So anything that's Alice and Olivia, I will pick up. It's an expensive label. And it's just a long like maxi dress. It's lined. So yeah, the real real does take this um, label. So if it doesn't sell in my closet, I will send this off to the real real. Alice and Olivia seems to sell fast. This is an Ann Taylor loft. I try not to pick up loft because it doesn't have a high resale value. But I loved the print on this and the color, and I think it'd be great for fall. And it's a large size. This is Tila or T L A, and it's just a like dolman sleeve basic magenta color T-shirt. I'm a sucker for anything that's anthropology, so I will pick it up, even the basics. Oh, this is really cute. It's like a leopard print ombre dipped, and it's like the daisy lace. Free People dress. I've been finding a lot of free people at the Goodwill recently, so that's nice. I usually have to go to like Plato's Closet or Chloe's Mentor to find free people to fill up my closet, but recently I've been doing really well at my local Goodwills. This is Lily Pulitzer, and it's just like a basic t-shirt. It's like a burnout with the, um, like the puffy sleeves. So yeah, I've been finding a lot of Lily too, Lily dresses. I follow the empty hanger on YouTube and Instagram and she always has like graphic tees so I found this one so it made me think of her and it's like she always talks about bravado so it's bravado and it's a men's t-shirt and I usually don't go in the men's section because I don't sell men's stuff but this was stuck in the women's tees so I couldn't resist that and I might keep it for myself but I don't know and if it doesn't fit me I'll be selling this in my closet. And during checkout, I if there's a long line, I will will go through like the t-shirts and the stuff that's by the checkout. And this blouse was must have just been put out because I didn't see it when I was going through it. And it's by Rails, and it's a large size. And this thing retailed for like $148, so it's like a little ridiculous. And I it's the rain it's the Whitney button down. And usually on Rails, they'll have the name of it on the inside so on the inside of the rails like um, fabric tag it'll have rails and behind it will um have I don't know if you can see it behind it it will have what the name of it is so you can look up on the internet and find what it retailed for and usually find a stock photo if you need it there's another blazer I've been doing really well with blazers right now Especially the White House Black Market Blazers, but this one's by Ann Taylor and has the leather trim detail. It's just a nice classic blazer. Be good for the fall. And people, a lot of people are buying career wear right now. And I found that this blazer, it's a navy and it has really cool buttons. And it's by Carolina Herrera. And I'm not too sure if this is her like high-end label. I have to do more research on it, but it wasn't that expensive and I thought it was really cute. I found this t-shirt, and I don't know if it is worth anything, but I really thought it was cool with the cat. Here's the label. I have to do more research on it, but couldn't resist this black cat. <laughs> it's cute. This is a Maeve dress by Anthropology. Just navy on the bottom. It's a color block dress. But this was pretty. And I typically stay away from white because it seems like it gets stained. So always look around like the armpit and the shoulder because usually there's going to be stains on there. That's why most people donate like nice dresses like this. So always check out white items or just try to avoid them all together like I do. I, I always break my rule though. <laughs> For some reason I always say no white and then I end up buying stuff that's white. And then coming home and the Goodwill always seems to have poor lighting and I think it's for a reason. The T Tahari um, blazer. 
and I usually don't pick up to hurry okay, but this looked like it was really well constructed like the the sewing so I took it I'm taking a chance on it I believe it's my size so if for some reason it doesn't sell I'll just keep it for myself but it looked like it was well constructed so I'm sure someone will like this there's another um this is like an older style this is their older label and it's Bailey 44 so this is their older tag Bailey 44 and it's just a black and white striped crisscross dress it's like a cottony fabric this is sold in Bloomingdale's this label and I've been doing really well with Bailey 44 so if I ever see it I do pick it up and the real real did accept Bailey 44 and now they don't anymore when I started um, consigning with them back in April they took all my Bailey 44 stuff and it sold like right away but now they don't take it anymore for some reason so it still sells in my posh closet so I still pick it up and I didn't look this label up when I was in the Goodwill so I'll have to look it up but I just liked how it had like the gold sparkle on the front it's a well-made t-shirt so I don't know anything about wasabi and mint so I'll have to do my research but I thought it was really cool for even for the holidays and here's another top that I've never heard of before it is Richard Ruiz and I just liked how it had I think it's 100% silk and it's like a butterfly print so that was really pretty Talbot's novelty like t-shirt and it's just red on the front and then on the back is this really cool uh, pattern and it was really cute to see someone on the boardwalk with this top and I thought this was really fun it's a jean jacket and it's a vintage Ashhead wash jean jacket and here's the label I don't think it's anything special I was hoping it was like Levi's or something and then I pulled it out and I was like oh I really like this and then I went to put it in my cart and realized there's an American flag on the back so how cool is that I just think that's so much fun and jean jackets are really in right now and I did get home and realized that the button on the the cuff is missing with like the grommet button but I figured someone can just roll it up or even add a button when if they wanted to because if I was wearing this, I would just roll it up like that. So I thought this was really fun. I picked up at the Goodwill yesterday. And if you this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you do have a Poshmark closet, I would love it if you would leave it down below. And feel free to follow other people that are commenting too. And sharing is make just like a little community. So if you thank you for watching, guys. Bye.